Today we're going to look at notorious gangster Kenneth Noy. Kenneth's life began in 1947 in Bexley Heath, South East London. His mother managed a dog racing track and his father ran a post office. When Noy was five years old, his criminal career began where he was caught stealing money from a till. It happened while his mother was speaking to an assistant in Woolworths. Growing up, Noy went to Bexley Heath Boys where he ran a dinner money protection racket and also began selling stolen bikes. When he was 15 years old, he left school and done several jobs including delivering newspapers. Noy very quickly moved on to selling stolen car parts and jewellery while acting as a fence for burglars. His crimes led him to spend a year in Borstal where waiting to see a barrister by his accusations he faced he met legal secretary Brenda Tremaine, who later became his wife. In September 1970, he married Brenda and also built up underworld links in his early 20s and hung around the Hilltop Hotel, which was a haunt for gangland figures such as the Richardsons and associates of the craze. Noy also became a police informer and even joined the Freemasons to mix with the police contacts. In the 70s, he tried his hand at legitimate businesses, including a haulage company, a builder, and then setting up a property development company. But in 1977, he was given an 18-month suspended jail sentence for receiving and possessing a shotgun. In 1980, his profile grew, so he bought a 20-acre site in West Kingsdown, but refused permission to demolish the existing bungalow on the plot. But only a few weeks later, it burnt down due to an electrical fault. So Noy replaced it with a 10 bedroom mock Tudor mansion. He also splashed out on a villa in Northern Cyprus and a 700,000 pound yacht. In November 1983, when six robbers broke into the Brinksmount warehouse in Heathrow, it was described as a crime of the century. The gang initially thought there was three million pounds in cash, but instead found three tons of gold. One of the robbers enlisted Noy, who was an expert in melting and recasting gold for sale. In January 1985, undercover police officer John Fordham was keeping watch on Noy's home from a hiding place in the grounds when he was cornered by the gangster three Rottweilers. Noy stabbed him ten times and he died two hours later. Noy and suspected accomplice Brian Reader, who was at the scene when Fordham was stabbed, stood trial for the murder at the Old Bailey. Now some of you may know Brian Reader from the Hatton Garden robbery which happened in 2015. In December 1985, Noy and Reader were both found not guilty of murder as Noy believed it was an underworld assassin after his life. Now police were obviously devastated by this, along with his wife Anne and his son John. Noy and Reader were able to convince the jury that they were acting in self-defence. But only a few months later, Noy was convicted of handling some of the stolen Brinks Mac gold and conspiracy to evade VAT after 11 bullion bars were found at his home. He was jailed for 14 years in prison, also fined £500,000 and ordered to pay 200000 costs. In 1994, Noy was released from prison after serving eight years and kept a low profile for the following two years. On the 19th of May, 1996, that day changed everything for many people. 21-year-old Stephen Cameron was with his 17-year-old girlfriend driving down the M25 in Kent. The altercation started when Noy was cut up by Stephen's van on the roundabout. Both vehicles stopped at a red traffic light and Noy leapt out of his car. Both men started fighting and because Cameron gained the upper hand, Noy fetched a knife from his car, stabbing Stephen twice in the chest. Moments later, Cameron died in the arms of his fiancé's arms. Although there was a massive police investigation, 
They weren't quite sure it was Noy that committed the murder, but the very next day, Noy fled the country in a private jet. So while police were looking for this road rage killer, Noy was already in Spain. Police believed the jet was provided by his Brinks map pal, John Palmer. After more than two years on the run, Noy was finally arrested after being in a restaurant in Spain. Police had secretly flew out Stephen Cameron's fiance to identify Noy, who was in the restaurant. After nine months, Noy was finally brought to the UK where he could face justice. In April 2000, Noy was convicted of the murder of Stephen Cameron and given a life sentence and was told he must serve a minimum of 16 years. Cameron's fiance, who gave evidence against Noy, has been living with an assumed name under the Witness Protection Act ever since amid fears that she could be targeted by Noy. In June 2019, Noy was released from prison and to date, he's managed to stay out. Well, thank you very much for watching and rest in peace to both victims. And until next time, stay safe.